kind of interesting little setup. Got my got a feedback winding here that's just sort of sitting off to the side. You can see, and the closer I get it, the uh, less the current draw goes down, or the more the current draw goes down. Oops, but uh, the arc isn't as beefy. And I've noticed um, where I need to put it sort of varies depending on how the coil is heating up. So I gotta have to move it back a good little ways now. I'll cut the voltage up a little bit. And of course, that also is in relation to where the primary is. See, the primary needs to go down a little bit. see it really starts to pick up. Let me see if I can tune this a little better real quick. It's about a 11 volts. Just about 2 amps though. See my feedback coil is just over here. It's about exact. And tuning, tuning the, <clears throat> the feedback. Bring it up a little bit before it goes out. So you can sort of see this gets it out of tune. Obviously loading it down, maybe changing the uh, capacitance. But that's more or less what you know what this potentiometer on the feedback winding does. It's trying to get it in tune. So you can see if I bring it up to a certain point it goes out. That's pretty cool though. I've never had a feedback winding set up like that although it does draw uh, more current with this setup uh, than the way that I first had this tuned so I don't know if I'll keep it like that little setup it's the same circuit but it's a different well it's a different circuit of the same circuit <laughs> but uh, this one is running a little over uh, close to about an amp and a half 30 volts Got the little glass coming out. Yeah, it looks pretty cool when there's sort of like a mix between the purple and yellow, which is pretty much what happens in this case because it's not putting out a whole lot of power. But this one was wound to be 5 megahertz, which we're a little over that. You know, there's lots of ways where you can get these tuned where they'll run in a higher frequency or a lower frequency than the uh, fundamental. Yeah, this is a pretty cool setup. Keeping with, with, with the way I built this circuit, keeping it around 5 megahertz runs pretty good. It's uh, Class E, so, uh, you know, even though it starts getting close to a couple amps, um, 
the further that little bush kicks out. Still can run for a while before this uh, heat sink just can't take it. Of course, my battery just kicked out because that <laughs> that uh, cell is getting below the low voltage cutoff point. But as it kicked back on, you know, the, it started itself, so that's cool. It's just a nifty little way to get the flame. And it kicked out again. Hey, it kicked back on again. Hey. <laughs> That's kind of a cool way to show the self start there. Little relays kicking on and off. Yeah, I need to change that battery. See the size comparison. This is my other little uh, 5 megahertz coil that is down in there. It's about, <laughs> it's about from there up. So it's a little bit bigger, but uh, this one pulls probably about twice as much current as that one. Um, little bushes, bushes a little bit bigger with this one though. But you know, obviously, this little heat sink gets incredibly hot. This fan with this fan going, it's almost it's almost not quite enough to keep it cool. Um, so that's why it's better off to run this interrupted. But you can run this longer with this bigger heat sink. That bigger coil, that's pretty cool.